What's up Titans? This is Mr. Sturtz. Um, in this short video we're going to finish up section 9.4 which deals with writing quadratic equations in vertex form. So go ahead and open up your student journals. Um, our first example here, they want us to find the minimum value of this quadratic equation. And how we're going to actually go about this is we're going to rewrite this quadratic equation in vertex form which we've worked with before. Okay, A little review. Um, vertex form is the form y equals a when a is not zero, x minus h squared plus k. Okay, and a reminder, the vertex is the point h comma k. Okay, and we kind of always remembered we think opposite on h. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this in vertex form. Um, so our first step is once we have this equation, I'm going to rewrite it here, y equals x squared plus 4x minus 1. We're going to check if we can rewrite that right side as the square of a binomial. Okay, and we talked about in class today completing the square. Is this negative 1 half of 4 squared? Well, half of 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4, so we know that's not right. So what we need to do is let's move this 1 to the left side. So let's do that by adding 1 to each side. So now on the left side we have y plus 1 equals x squared plus 4x. Okay, now we're going to work with that right side, and what we're going to do is we're going to complete the square. So we're going to take half of b, which in this case b is 4, and we're going to square it. So we have half of 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4, so let's go ahead and add 4. So we're completing the square, we're adding 4 to the right side. Now whatever we do to the right side to keep our equation balanced, we also have to do to the left, so we're going to add 4 over here as well. So when we do that, we have y plus 5 now equals our x squared plus 4x plus 4. And now we're going to rewrite that right side as the square of a binomial. So we're going to factor form there. We have something squared. Well, we know it's x. Since that middle number is positive, it's going to be a plus 2 squared equals y plus 5. Now if we look up to the top right there, we're almost in that vertex form. We have our parentheses. We have our a, which is just 1 before it. We need plus k. So if we get, if we subtract 5 on both sides, now we have y equals x plus 2 squared minus 5. We have it in vertex form. To find our vertex, we said it was hk and we kind of thought opposite. So our vertex is going to be negative 2, negative 5. We see that a is positive in this case because this number is a 1 here, which is a positive 1. So we know that's going to open up up so it's going to have a minimum and if we remember our minimum if we have a parabola that opens up our minimum is our y value so our y value is negative 5 so we have a minimum of negative 5. 